Hello everyone. Every time I set up a camera like this and I try to have a talk, I always realize how awkward I am doing these sort of things. I can't even look at the camera. I don't know why. I can vlog fine, but as soon as I set up the camera and try to do something a bit more serious, a bit more personal to the camera, I don't know. I always feel like I'm super awkward. <laughs> but I should probably do it more often. That's how I'll get better. But I just am here in a very different video, obviously, than what's usually on the channel. Uh, for a reason I think is really important and something that I, I want to make very clear and I want to talk about. So basically, recently, I just finished watching The Social Dilemma, which is an amazing Netflix documentary. And I highly recommend checking it out. It talks about the dangers of social media and sort of the effects that the AI in them and just addiction to social media, how that can affect society in general and how it's affected this new generation coming up being brought up in social media. And so it's a really good documentary. I think it's really important to watch if you have social media in your life, which I think most of us do. And yeah, so it just, it made me want to talk about something. It made something very clear for me that I want to just talk about and make clear. So obviously on this channel, if you've been watching for a while or you've just seen a couple of my videos, it's all about adventure. It's all about travel. And, you know, I, I think a lot of the videos can be big, epic, cinematic stuff, going to beautiful places, waterfalls, mountain hikes. And it's awesome. And I work really hard to try capture these places that I go to as good as I can. And I'm always focused on how to make it very cinematic, how to make it epic, how to tell the story of the adventure. And I think sometimes, definitely, I forget to kind of give the message behind this channel, the message behind these videos. Uh, because when I look through, I don't want you guys to watch these videos and feel bad that maybe you can't go out and have a mountain hike or there's not a waterfall in the country you live that you can explore or you don't have the time, money or the ability to go and do these sort of adventures that I do and I capture. I would hate for you guys to watch my videos and feel bad about your own life. That is not why I make these videos at all. It's not to show off how lucky I am to go to these places, although I am very lucky. The whole point of this channel, the whole point of these adventures is to hopefully inspire you guys to go out and have your own adventure. I'm not here trying to brag my lifestyle and show how cool the places I get to go are. The reason I capture them and show them and spend so long putting together these adventure films is because I want you to watch them and be inspired to go out and have your own adventure. I want to show you how beautiful the world is and how possible it is to have an adventure. A lot of the recent adventures that I've been having, I've been having them in England. I haven't gotten on a plane. I lived in England uh, since I was 15. And it took me leaving England, getting a plane ticket, going out and seeing the rest of the world, or not even the rest of the world, going out and seeing Asia, which is where, you know, in my head when I was in college and I was watching all these YouTube vloggers, they were all exploring Asia and it just made me want to go. And I was, you know, just, oh, I was so amazed by the lifestyle they were having. And I wish my lifestyle was like theirs. And it built this want for me to go and travel. And it built this idea in my head that in order to have an adventure, in order for me to be happy, I had to get on a plane. I had to go somewhere far. I had to go backpack Asia, motorbike Vietnam, all these things I had seen on these vlogs on YouTube. I thought in order for me to experience what it is to have an adventure, uh, I had to go and spend a lot of money and, and save a lot of time up to go and do this. And so I did. I, I saved up money for two years working as a cleaner and I got on a plane. And I went and had backpacking adventures in, in Asia and it was awesome. It was amazing. I'm definitely not going to say that it wasn't. 
But coming back to England, <laughs> coming back to England years later, I've realized that I could have had an adventure this whole time. When I was in school, I could have been having an adventure every single weekend because England is filled with amazing places. I don't have to spend a ton of money to go and have an adventure. I just need to be in good company or just go during sunrise hours at a field 10 minutes outside of my house. I just need to step out of the door with the attitude of looking for an adventure and it doesn't matter where I am, I will have an adventure. When I was in Macau, and Macau is known as sort of a city, a gambling hub, uh, you know, it's seen as a place for casinos. It's like Las Vegas of Asia. It's a very small place and people think you can't have an adventure there. And so with that mindset, people don't really look at Macau as a place to go and have an adventure. But I've had some of my best adventures exploring Macau and there wasn't mountains, there wasn't waterfalls, you know, there was a very polluted beach. <laughs> Uh, but I had amazing adventures and I saw the beauty that that place contained because there just came a point where I realized you don't need a plane ticket. All you need is just the right attitude and anywhere can be an adventure. Anything can be an adventure. One hour walk to a new coffee shop you haven't been to, that can be the adventure. You could meet someone there that could be your new best friend. You never know. That is what adventure is about. I never want you guys to see these videos and feel like, oh, if only I could go to England and, and have these adventures and go to that waterfall. That's not what it's about. That is just what I can do right now and, and those are places that excite me and that's where I go to. But often these videos are just like an hour's drive away. It doesn't cost any money other than fuel and snacks, which is about 20 pounds. Um, and you can just go, I, I just go and have an adventure. The national parks are free, hiking is free, but I could go two minutes out my house and have a walk around a field, and if I had the right attitude about it, it would be an adventure, and I am sure, I am 100% certain that somewhere around you, there is an adventure to be had, and you don't need a plane ticket. You don't need to come to the places that I'm going to. You just need to take that attitude of excitement uh, love of the world around you, uh, respect for nature, and, and yeah, just get a group of fans, get a group of friends, or go by yourself, and have an awesome adventure wherever you are. That is the point of this channel. I want to inspire you to go and have an adventure. I don't want you to feel jealous about the places I go and see and feel like, oh, I'm so lucky to have this lifestyle. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm very lucky to have the lifestyle I do. I can go on adventures once a week, uh, which is amazing. And, and I have worked hard to make sure that that is my lifestyle because it's a lifestyle I love and it's something I really enjoy. But I also want to make something clear is that this lifestyle does not contain the infinite amount of happiness that maybe it would seem from videos. The truth is this lifestyle is full of ups and downs, like every lifestyle that everyone has on the planet. There is no such thing as endless happiness. No matter what you do, you're going to be faced with good days and bad days. The importance is to be grateful for the good ones and have the attitude of let's get through the bad ones. You know, just stay positive. And I think a real danger of social media is to compare to others' lifestyles that they put out online. But what you have to realize is that is not the full lifestyle. Me going and having a mountain hike, that is one day, but then I'll spend maybe five days indoors not leaving my laptop editing it. Now, I enjoy doing that for the most part, but there's days where it's sunny outside and I wish I was outside, but that's the thing. Everyone's going to have those days. This is not the perfect lifestyle. No lifestyle is the perfect lifestyle. Life just doesn't work that way. It's full of ups and downs, and in, the, in order to enjoy the ups, you have to experience the downs to know what ups are, right? Um, and I hope I'm making sense. I hope I, I really hope I'm making sense. I just want to make a video to make that clear because I would hate for someone to watch my videos and feel bad about the lifestyle they're having or feel like they can't have an adventure. Like they need to come to England or they need to go to Macau or they need to travel far to have an adventure. You can have an adventure wherever you are in the world. You just have to step out your front door, get some friends together or go by yourself. And, and try experience something new and go out there with that mindset to do so. 
uh, I really think that's important. I wish it's a mindset that I knew earlier when I was in college, when I was in high school, because I spent so much of that time wishing I was a vlogger on YouTube in Asia rather than trying to make the most of the place I was. And it took me going to those places to realize how awesome the place I was, was. <laughs> You know, everywhere in the world has beauty, it has an adventure, it has a story to be told. And everyone can experience it. You don't need money. Uh, and you can, you can just, if you can just go and even, I don't know, it, I just think it's important to remember that. And in a world of social media where comparison is so easy and everyone puts their best face forward online, I think it's dangerous to think that those are the perfect ways of living. There is no perfect way of living. Everyone experiences happiness, sadness. Everywhere has an adventure. Everywhere has good things and bad things. You just gotta look on the bright side of where you are, make a plan for the future where you wanna be, and then enjoy the moment where you are. I, I think that's really important, and it's something I wish I knew, yeah, earlier, and it's something that I'm still learning to do now. I feel sometimes I get so caught up in trying to make the best video that I can, get the most beautiful shot that I can, go to the best national park that I can, that I forget to just be grateful for the fact that all around us is beauty and not trying to compare it to other beauty found around the world because it's not about that. Uh, it, it's just about where you are now and what you are experiencing and, and not letting comparison taint that just a bit more on the topic of social media not being a real representation of what people's lives are like I just want to talk on a personal level on some stuff um and yeah this is oh kind of kind of hard to um <sighs> so if you look at the channel maybe you think you know I'm, I'm going on adventures I've, I've been to different countries and I've done different experiences that might seem a bit scary and a bit wild and it, it might be easy to think, well, it's easy for him to do it, you know, he's got that confidence to do it and, and I know for a lot of people they feel maybe more anxious about stuff like that and about having an adventure and about going out into the world and so I just wanted to open up and I do want to do a video more focused on this because I think it is a, an important aspect to talk about, but it is a tough aspect to talk about, and it is a sensitive topic to talk about. But um, for me personally, I do have anxiety. Uh, I have social anxiety, and I do know there's a lot of stigma around that word. A lot of people use it very freely. A, a lot of people maybe don't know exactly what it entails, but uh, I will get panic attacks. I find it very difficult to <laughs> take risks. Um, I feel like sometimes everyone's looking at me. I can get very worked up about little issues. Uh, nights before going to film some adventures, like the Lake District videos, which were recent, I was really scared to go and stay in a Airbnb alone. Um, I was nervous to go out on trail. I, you know, was scared to talk to people in the Airbnb. These are all things that you don't see in the video. And that's what I mean when I say social media is not an active or it's not the full picture of what someone is going through or what their life is like. And that's why I think comparison is so dangerous in that aspect. You could look at my videos and think, oh my goodness, he's so confident. He can go to all these things and do all these adventures and he's never scared. I'm scared. I can't do it. That's not the case. I get really scared a lot of the time. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to leave the house even to go shop because I'm so scared and anxious about it. Uh, I recently had to get my tire changed and I had to have my dad go up with me because I was so scared because it's a new environment for me now this is something that I'm learning to deal with and I know a lot of people do deal with but the reason why I'm telling you this is because I don't want you to think that you have to be confident or you have to be a certain person to go out and have adventures to make the most of it you just you just have to give it a go and and everyone's got their own barrier 
to cross and everyone has their own demons to fight. But the idea that looking online, you might think that someone else doesn't have any of those things. Everyone has things they're dealing with. Everyone has issues and stuff and bad days and getting in the mindset of wishing you were like someone else because you see something they're doing online. I, it's not true. It's not accurate. And I think it's important to realize that and to not be so hard on yourself in a comparative manner. You, and, and on a more sort of selective point on this channel, you can have an adventure even if you're scared. Uh, I rarely go out and film without stress and anxiety and fear. But when I'm out there, when I get my first foot on the track, when I arrive and I see that sunrise, all that anxiety, all that fear goes away. But it takes getting to there. It takes the car ride there being scared. It takes the night before being scared. It takes planning being scared. But when I'm there, when I'm doing the action, that is when it falls away and that is why I keep coming back to adventures and it's why I keep pushing my comfort zone is because I love it when I get there I love it but if I arrived at the first obstacle of fear and anxiety and never tried to overcome it I, I would never know that I would never have these experiences that I've had but it's always involved overcoming that fear and so if you have fear you can overcome that. You can still have an adventure. And everyone's got different levels. Maybe that means you want to go on a hike, but you don't want to do it alone because you're scared. Bring a friend for the first couple of hikes and slowly make your way up to doing solo hikes. Don't You don't have to jump straight into the deep end. I'm not saying that. I, I think there's a level where you cross your comfort zone. I think it's important to keep stretching your comfort zone, keep testing yourself, but it's also important to not go off the deep end, to, to go too far beyond it and break yourself physically or mentally. But I think there are ways of getting to where you want to be rather than just thinking it's impossible. That person's just so confident or that person just has so much money. All these things, you, you don't know the full picture on social media. And I did just want to clear that up. And I will make a video a bit more in depth about this. Because I think it's an important thing to talk about. I think people think you got to be fearless. My battery just died. Sorry about that. Uh, I kind of took the momentum out. But um, yeah, I, 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 I'm just sharing this. I don't want to share it in a way of like to feel bad for me. Because I don't feel bad for me. You know, I have, you know, anxiety and I am learning ways to cope with it. And I think everyone has their own things that they're trying to deal with. I think it's just important to remember that because online you can forget that looking at people's perfect photos or perfect vlogs. And you think, wow, what a life. I wish I lived like that. And I think in that thought is a real danger and I think only negativity can come from thinking like that. It's important to remember that everyone deals with with goods of life and bads of life and it's up to you to choose which one you want to focus on. Not look to others and wish you were like them or had their lifestyle. And so yeah, that is why I want to share that because it's not in a way to at all feel bad for me because I don't let it stop me from living my life or I don't let it stop me from having these adventures even though it does really scare me sometimes and you know there's some days where you know I just don't want to don't want to leave the house I'm scared or I'm sad or you know these these are things I think are very normal and everyone deals with and I want to share this and let you know just so that you don't feel like you're alone in feeling that way if you do or you feel like you can't go out and have an adventure or live the life that you want to live because of these barriers. I think everyone has different barriers to overcome. It's important to be kind to yourself about those things, to understand that they're things you have to deal with, and then just learn ways to slowly make your way towards that and slowly expand your comfort zone and always be one foot out of your comfort zone. But also, always be kind to yourself and understand that you're going to have bad days, you're going to have strengths, and you're going to have weaknesses. And everyone in the world has these things, I think, unless they're like cyborgs, I guess, wouldn't really. Yeah, I just wanted to open up and let you guys know about 
that side of me that maybe I don't make clear. And I think it's important to make clear because I don't want you guys to think that you can't have an adventure because you're anxious, scared, or you don't, you aren't able to have the money to go get a plane ticket. Living an adventurous lifestyle isn't about any of those things. An adventure is different for everyone. It's just about trying something new, taking one foot out of your comfort zone and, and giving it a go and stepping out into the world with a positive mindset. And maybe that sounds cheesy, but to me, that is what adventure is about. And that is the message I want to give with this channel. I think it's an important, it's an important message for me. And it's something that's really, really helped me in my life. And, you know, it's, um, adventure has really helped me a lot. Um, and it's really helped me learn who I am. It's helped me deal with stresses of life. And if it could help you too, I, I would love for you to go out and give it a go and see if it does, if you ever feel like you need something.